and we're back okay so let's go ahead and do a match cut again back in here to iMovie new project movie file let's go look at our files here this time we're going to take this one called outside cabinet because this is filmed outside the cabinet and let's go get the other one called inside the cabinet and we're going to put that after it but we're going to be moving some things around okay so a match cut is when you get you match exactly what's happening in one uh, video clip to the other video clip. So in this case, I come over, see, I, I walk into frame, I come over, I open up the cabinet, I look for something, I grab the tape, and I come back out. And then I've got this other clip of me from, filmed from within the cabinet, and I'm finding it, and there I find it, and I take it back out. So we're going to match those together, okay? So this is how I do it. First of all, like always, we do a rough edit. Let's get rid of all the garbage at the beginning here before I walk into frame. Okay, so here's me walking into frame. So I just want just, just maybe when I start to see my belly. There we go. And then I'm going to cut this. Okay, that's me reaching and then just, just starting to open up the cabinet. You can just see barely a crack in the cabinet. I'm going to two-finger tap. I'm going to say split the clip. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to find where is it when I just, okay, just a little bit of daylight. See, does that, see, I'm doing a match cut. That's looking the same way. I'm going to, oops, let me just make sure we select this here. Okay, open just a bit. Okay, it's not giving me sp split clip. It's mad about something. Okay, so this is clip. Okay, there, now we go. This is clip. Okay, now it'll do it. Sorry, I just had to go and select this again because it was mad at me. Okay, so let me find that again. Okay, so I'm just starting to open the cabinet and I'm two finger tap, split clip. Okay, so, um, there, there is just that it is right there. Perfect. Okay. And now let's get the other part of when I close it. Okay. So, okay. That's garbage there. Okay. Now let's go get the other part to match that. Okay. So let's go get the one from the inside the camera. Okay, so let me just find where I just barely open up about right there. I'm going to two-finger tap. I'm going to split the clip there, okay? Now, let's just go... No, that's, that's the wrong clip. It just did one second. Let me get rid of that. Something is not functioning right here on my iMovie. Let me go try to do it one more time. Get it? So it just barely opens up. Two-finger tap, split clip. Okay, now it's doing the right thing. And then let me go... So I open it up. I find the the tape and then I close it about again just so it's just got a crack of light coming in I'm going to uh, split the clip there oops I detached the audio let's just do an, an uh, <laughs> let's undo there okay let me go where are we at about right there and it won't let me split clip it's mad at this clip right there we go now we split the clip I just had to select the clip again and so so now I've got this little chunk right here this is all garbage so I'm going to go ahead and delete that this is all garbage. I'm going to delete that. All I'm left with is me digging this out of here. Okay. So now let's go and let's go put that into uh, between these two clips here. And let's just see how it's looking right now. Again, it's a rough edit. So I walk over. Oh, it looks like I got a little bit too much of a delay there. And then, I, of course, I haven't clipped, I haven't trimmed this. So, first of all, we got to trim this just. So we, I'm just trimming, moving that edge forward till I get a little crack of light and right there. And then of course this finishes by just closing and I've got to trim this to about when I close it. Okay, about there. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Okay, so I walk into frame. Oh, find it. Okay, and then I can just, once I walk out of frame. And where am I at? Right there. I walked out of frame. Now, you, it's funny thing is when you go back to watch your own work, you actually don't see the edit. It just is, it looks very natural. Like you just watch it and go, okay, here he is getting it. Grabs that there, finds it, and do it. Okay, now what I, what's giving it away now is the audio is not matching. This camera here is picking up a lot of background noise, probably from the air conditioner where this camera wasn't hearing anything. So I'm going to take these two clips. I'm just going to hold down my command button so I can select two clips at once. And I'm just gonna turn the, the volume down on those just because we're just hearing way too much of the air conditioner. It's not matching what the audio is. 
still I can still turn it down even more let me select those clips again turn it down even more 30 percent okay there it is finds it goes back everything is good and if you just you just want to scrub over your work just to make sure yeah that's looking good that's looking good let me watch it one more time just to make sure and I'm really focused in on that door does it match perfectly and if it doesn't if you want to do more you can always zoom in more so you have a finer set of details here on your actual edit but I think I've got the doors matching perfectly and this is called a match do I get this one right no look at that door that's why it's looking a little off let me just edit this so just so I got it I just want to move this edge forward let me select that clip I want to move it forward just so I, there we go now we can just barely see the light yeah that's looking good okay so I think that is let me get rid of that uh, message there I think that's a really good uh, edit of this match cut so now you know, it's your turn and I want to see it just work perfectly perfectly clean just like this so that yours is flowing along and looks and so you don't even notice it's there you're like your your mind just like well of course that was a shot inside the cabinet why wasn't it you know kind of thing okay good luck with that